Are you tired of seeing bullshit distractions, fallacious nonsense, and things that aren't relevant to your life coming across your fascist book news feed? Well, we are too. This segment is devoted to showing you the absurdity, irrationality, and overall proof of how well the distraction campaign is going. Liberty Under Attack brings you the fascist book trends of the day. Uh, Tony Blair, former British Prime Minister, says UK could hold second EU referend- referendum. Why rule anything out right now? So does that mean uh, does that mean that they're going to have a uh, do another vote on on whether uh, Brexit should happen or not? Um, it would seem that way. I mean, the, the the left or the pro-European Union, they don't want Britain to leave. And I mean, I've been following this because it interests me. Um, Mind you, I don't think you can achieve liberty by, you know, voting, but I, I would argue that um, it'd be nice to have less one world government. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. So to that end, I prefer that, you know, Britain kind of like, you know, leave it. But uh, it seems to me that the EU, uh, based on the information I've been gathering the last few months, uh, the EU is, is <laughs> they want Britain's influence, but they don't want to give Britain any power within the EU. Like, from what I hear about how the Parliament of the EU has treated Britain and its complaints and its um, it, the things it's suggested into a law, uh, they've been basically ignoring Britain, but at the same time kind of benefiting. And everyone on the left is screaming, well, without you know, Britain won't be able to access the common EU market, but uh, the EU doesn't have trade agreements with uh, Sweden, uh, United States, China, so it doesn't need a trade agreement with uh, Britain either. So I'm, yeah, yeah, that's that, that's true. And, and like when I first kind of heard about, it, I don't follow the news cycle. I saw everyone like posting about it. Everyone was really happy that Brexit happened, and. Uh, <clears throat> So this was before, like the it was right before the final votes were, or before the final was, or final result was released. But it's like you know, I'm not going to get excited about this yet because I, I mean, obviously the EU does not want uh, Britain to leave, and I would not, I, w- I would not be surprised if some really, like if some, if they did really, really something, like if uh, if the EU did something really shitty, and uh, didn't let that happen, despite, uh, despite the votes. Uh, so I, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see what kind of plays out there. Uh, David Cameron, UK Prime Minister, announces he will resign after nation votes to leave European Union. Last time I checked, as far as the legal structure of Britain's common law, whatever the hell, they can't hold a second referendum uh, because the referendum, it's done and over with. Uh, as far as that stage of it goes, the next stage is that the parliament more or less has to ratify it, and that could go the other way. Uh, the parliament Ooh, could try. Okay, yeah. It's not, yeah, yeah, guys, it's not over yet. It's, there is a sea change of, of sorts that has the potential for getting them out. But until the parliament says, okay, we agree with the referendum, this could still very much backfire. So please, you know, again, I mean, there's, there's a reason why I suggest people, you know, there's that ignorantia juris non excusa, right? Uh, and unfortunately, people just are. So, uh, you know, until the parliament says a okay, it's not a done deal. You th- yeah, thank you for much. I I knew like I, I knew it wasn't no as as I just said. I, I was I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if there were some shenanigans that happened. But uh, that confirms my uh, my fears. So uh, yeah, thank you for for bringing that to light. I have not heard anyone else mention that. That's a problem. Um, but uh, but yeah, now it's uh, on the record here on uh, Liberty Under Attack Radio. Thank you very much. Get on, boss.